Okay, everyone. <clears throat> so I thought I'd make this video just so that I can uh, show people what it's like to run Zwift and Rogue Grand Tours using the MX250 dedicated graphics card. I recently bought a new laptop, uh, which is the Huawei MateBook 13. They're available on Amazon at the moment for about uh, £700, £750, uh, which sounds like a lot, but when you compare it to a MacBook, which is effectively what it's a ripoff of, um, except you've got Windows, which is what I prefer to use, um, <clears throat> and you've got the dedicated graphics card, which is the, obviously the whole point of this video. Um, it has the i5 8th generation Ultrabook series, um, so it's not like whacking great top spec. I know we're on the 10th gen now, um, and I know AMD have also brought out some Ultrabook um, chips that are even more powerful than this. However, um, for the price point, I wanted to get the um, MX250 included. I know the Vega 8 uh, integrated graphics in the AMD chips is pretty good these days, um, but I think it's uh, it's worthwhile uh, just the MX250 is what I wanted after doing a few Vega rates versus MX250 testing uh, that I was watching videos on it looked like the MX250 did still have a sort of 30-40% um, improvement so I thought I'd go for that one so let's have a look at the footage we're watching now um, so this is just me in uh, stalker mode um, on uh, Zwift just watching random people uh, but you can see how this is running in full HD um, this, I mean, excuse, excuse the cropped ratio on the screen. This, uh, the laptop runs in three by two, um, whereas this video is in uh, sixteen by nine. So, uh, hence why it looks like it's cut off the top. But you can see that it's running so smooth. You've got spray coming off the riders. You've got the shadows off the riders. You've got the water droplets hitting the road, um, and you can just see how smooth the movements are. You can, if any, if if, if you look at any of the side shots of the riders, the, the spokes are moving. The, the, the you can see that the tires are moving. It's all very, very good. Now we come across to RGT. Um, so for those of you who are not familiar at the moment, during the coronavirus lockdown, this is uh, completely free of charge. This is this view here is currently on low settings, but you can see we're getting over 100 frames per second on it, um, which is pretty, pretty impressive. We then move up to the medium settings, which you can see now. Uh, and again, I think the frames per second is, is pretty good going. Uh, and then this is the ultra setting when you've got the grass. So there's not a lot between the difference between the medium and the ultra. Um, I think the you can see that's back, back down to low, but I think the ultra is, uh, is effective just putting grass on it for, for this Mallorca map anyway, um, which seems a bit pointless. Um, but I think the, the, the difference between medium and low is staggering. Um, just like you can see the water at the moment, it's all blue and just washed out. You put it back on and you get a bit more detail um, and you can see the trees see it's, there it is so that's the big difference and then uh, you can see the lighthouse in the distance so this is the, uh, the cut fermenter in uh, Mallorca so I've just just done this ride this evening um, and tried to record some of the footage to show you guys what it looks like but the MX250 handles it brilliantly 